Hey guys, JC Pat Scott here, and it's time for part two of What If Sailor Scouts Were Pokemon Trainers. We're going to start off this time with Sailor Jupiter, which happens to be my favorite Sailor Scout. And I chose to use um, Hilda, or the female protagonist of Pokemon Black and White. She's my favorite character, even though I didn't finish any of those games. Um, She's the one that looks most like me. Everybody says I'm Sailor Jupiter, yada, yada, yada. Um, since she has both plant-based and electric-based, I decided to give her two of each. So I thought it would be really funny to give her one of the small but mighty uh, grass types of Lorantis. And then both Jolteon and Leafeon. I'll get it right eventually here. <laughs> And then I picked Antros because it's another tall, very, you know, personality driven from what I remember of the anime of everything. Her outfit was fun to design because of the whole thing. I decided not to do the whole scrapper look that Hilda's jeans normally have. And I kept getting confused on the colorization of Lantis. I've only drawn Lantis like three times up to this point, so it's fairly new to me. Of course, Jolteon in, well, it's only two or three colors, and um, the other EV evolution are, like, easy. I also give her a quick ball to kind of reference the speed of most electric types. Um, I also took off the button because I decided to do more of a sporty kind of pant look that I've seen. And, and um, like I said, her outfit was fun to design. I used a lot more gradients. Like her glove things are gradients from white to green to reference her gloves of her sailor suit. And then I also did her jacket. So you'll see later on that I did her jacket also in a gradient of um, pink and green to kind of reference that pink bows that she has in her sailor suit. And then I went ahead and gave her her rose earrings. And of course, being one of the only few Pokemon trainers outside of customization with a ponytail that's big and luscious and kind of wavy, I still don't know how to draw Hilda's hair very well when it's in motion, but I haven't drawn her very much. Outside of that, who would you have given Sailor Jupiter? I know she's a hard one because, like Sailor Mercury, she has some um, plantish uh, flower petal type moves. And then she's got her full thunder, so it's a lot like, okay, the ice and water type of Mercury. And then you also have to take in consideration later on if you do Neptune, who also has water-based abilities. Here we are finishing off Leafeon. And touch-ups of body parts. Hair. Okay. One thing I have noticed with Sailor Jupiter is she's got those little, like, I call them Mar Marble Clacker hair designs. Uh, hair pins, did you ever use those growing up? Or you still use them? Because you can still use them here and do them, cleaning up, gradients, fixing, putting lines on Lantis's leg, pants, and we're all finished. All right, next up is the final inner plant Sailor Scout of Venus. I had thought about doing her up as Sailor V, but I decided to do just regular. She's going to be a uh, very tech specialist. I thought that would fit her better with the whole love heart chain things. And then I went with uh, Aroma Lady for kind of a base because she's got more of that British, European feel to her because she was in Britain for before she joined the sailors in Japan, if I'm remembering the series correctly. Oh, except for Arena, which you could say does qualify if Megas are available in this universe, because her Mega is a fairy type. I use Alcremi to one of the variations that has the hearts. I really do not remember the name of this one. 
I thought it fit. Of course, Sylveon, off, it's white, so it references Artemis. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was pretty easy once I got the flow of what to do for the things. Acrylic was hard to do because of the colored, um, liner, so it's a lot, like, sorry about that, phone. So, doing the Elk means coloring was hard because it's a lot like a little like nine tails where the liner isn't black, it's colored. So, with my uh, background and the lighter colors, it was a little harder to do. Pulling traits of Sailor Venus was a little hard on this one, design wise, too. <sighs> da, da, da. And maybe I copped out with Sylvia and making her wink, but him weak. Wink. It's supposed to be a he. It's supposed to be Artemis. And lightening up the inside of her dress. Skirt, actually. Finishing up Togekiss. Doing trim. Skirt work. Like I said, it was a little harder to do her arms. And oh, she also has a love or a heel ball. I decided to give her a heel ball because I thought that kind of fit the percent line and everything. Uh, finishing up on and know. It was the first time from trying on and know too. So and up me, of course, up me is fairly new. And I haven't really used it yet in any of my playthroughs of Short and Shield. Uh, I think I was tempted to use a Sylveon. I know I've used a Togekiss and have probably feel at one point. So Well, touches and they're all finished. And to finish this video off, we're going to do Sailor Earth. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Tuxedo Mask. Um, so, Tuxedo Mask, I use Will um, Jota's Elite Four as a reference for his base. And he's not really in any particular um, Pokemon trainer. He's I would see him as more of a contest coordinator and I decided to put the rose motif in so he's got Roserade of course that's like a no grainer then I did Nano King for the whole thing of being connected with Sigma Moon um I thought Lock Bunny was a nice choice one uh, I think there's a character in the anime who uses one or two for a contest plus it the whole Usagi Bunny Moon Thing and it works out. It works out nicely for what I wanted to what I wanted to do for Chippy Moon, and then uh, I did Espeon to kind of as another counterpart to Sailor Moon's Umbreon, and then of course I added Love Bunny and uh, Espeon holding his roses. So if I was going to do a story, I would probably have like you know queen barrel making like shadow pokemon from like the gale of darkness and uh coliseum game type things and having him be like one of the ones fighting them and trying to you know subdue them and save susagi probably from the thing and she becomes a sailor moon scout to defend the pokemon world against that that would just be my interpretation of the story um getting love bunny's hand to look right, holding the rose was kind of fun too. And his, oh gosh, I hate characters who are mostly black with black outlines because I was trying to keep consistent with both Pokemon and Sailor Moon to use the two things together. And like I said, his, I did more of a kind of really dark blue gray, just to offset it a little bit. And as you said in the final, um, in case you're wondering, I don't like doing the shading um, recording. It just, I feel like it takes me way too long to do it. And I'm always frustrated with it when I'm trying to record. It never looks right. So, and this was my first time drawing Nidoking. I have drawn Roserade. She's been, Roserade's been on several of my Pokemon teams. It's kind of a given as one of my choices for um, Diamond and Pearl type games. And Flop Honey, I at least drew her for my 25 
um, top 25 challenge thing that I did for last year for Pokemon's 25th. This, uh, da, 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 I think we're finishing up coloring here. The one complaint I think I have on this is I think I made Nunukin's tail a little too long. On. And like, like I said, sometimes the characters don't look quite right. Like Venus's hair looks too long. Um, I just couldn't get the right shape and figuring out the ends. But it's a nitpicky things. It's in it. And here we are finishing up the hair, which is uh, really dark blue. I think its hair is more blue than black. Finishing up the key. And then, um, yeah, so what Pokemon trainers might you have used, or what Pokemon would you have chosen for these inner planet ones? And if you watched Sailor Moon growing up and you were a girl, or if you were a boy, you could have had a crush on. Did you have a crush on one of the Sailor Scouts, or was your crush sexy of a mass in Homer? That's why I assure anybody who hasn't seen it, but by this point, if you haven't seen Sailor Moon, there's something seriously wrong with you. And so, yeah. Also, I didn't want to give Tuxedo Mask, like, a full team of, like, Roserades and, and uh, Mozellias, and, and so I wanted more variety and thing. Here we are, all finished. All right, I will see you in part three. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and I will box catch you later. Bye!